Yo, I'm Mr. Lopez, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about UT OnRamps as one of your options for U.S. History junior year. You've already heard about on-level U.S. History, AP U.S. History, so I just wanted to tell you a few things that are different about on-ramps and a few things that are similar with the other classes. So just like all the others, you'll be taking this as, uh, or this could be one of your junior year U.S. History options. OnRamps is a program that is about four or five years old now at Brandeis, and it's unique in that it's still U.S. history, still the same topics and the, the amount of what we would cover in AP U.S. history, which I also teach. But with OnRamps, uh, there's a difference, and it deals with awarding of credit. It's a little similar to dual credit in that at the end of each semester, you would get a grade on a college transcript. There are some differences though. OnRamps was started by the University of Texas and it's, it's their thing. And so the transcript that you would get at the end of your fall semester and then the end of your spring semester come from the University of Texas. This transcript does, does not say UT OnRamps High School, UT dual enrollment. It just says uh, University of Texas, US history number one. So that's kind of cool. It looks just like what, uh, what it would look like for a student on the campus of the University of Texas in Austin right now. People often ask, uh, is it just good at UT? It's not. The, the transcript would transfer anywhere else to any public university in Texas, to private universities. And although you'd have to do some research, uh, even out-of-state universities almost always accept on-ramps credit. One of the other neat things about the credit that's different from dual credit is that in on-ramps, at the end of the fall semester, the UT work you did that was graded by UT professors gets you a UT college grade. So they'll say to you, hey, you have a A minus, a B plus, a C plus, whatever. And the students have the ability to accept or decline the credit. If they accept it, it's on the transcript, like I said. And if they decline it, it just doesn't show up at all. It's like the semester never happened. It doesn't say you took it and declined credit or you took it and withdrew. Nothing like that. It's just not there at all. So it's kind of like a, an insurance policy. What has happened to my students in the past is I've had a few that didn't do so hot in the fall semester. Maybe they received a C minus, a D plus, and they're thinking, I don't really want that on a college transcript. So they declined the credit in the fall they figure it out and they do a better job in the spring and all of a sudden they accept that semester's credit with a B minus, a B plus, an A, whatever it would be. So that's a unique thing that OnRamps offers that nobody else does. Like I said, we're doing the same material as in AP or AP Dual US History. It's just done in different ways. There's not one textbook that you're reading like in, in A Push. There are multiple online readings that you can or that you'll access. The assignments themselves are a little bit different. There are a lot of readings and journals almost nightly. If you're the type of person that can either do that every night or on the weekend, you do three nights, you get your work done, and then you do it again for the second half of the week in the middle. That's totally cool too. That also works. We do not have the AP essays. There's no DBQ, LEQ, SAQ. So that is a difference from AP US history. And as a result, my on-ramp students don't take the AP test in May. They do have quizzes uh, that are, uh, there's a team component to that. There's an individual quiz and then there's a team quiz that they do. Journals, um, and then just other smaller, shorter assignments make up the bulk of both the high school grade and then the college grade that goes to UT. Like with AP Dual or just AP, there is the eight point bonus added to your GPA. So that's a good thing, right? Taking an advanced class. Unlike dual credit, you do not have to take the TSI test to qualify. Uh, you do for dual credit, but for on ramps, you just take. Uh, you just sign up for the course. So I hope that clears up some questions. People often ask, uh, is it easier? Is it harder than a push? Uh, it's, I would say it's equal. It's just you're doing a different type of work, but the amount of dedication that you're putting into it is the same. 
just that your grade is coming from work you're doing throughout the year uh, versus the work that you're going to do and show on that one A-B test in May. So that's probably the biggest difference. The QR code here will take you to the UT website where they have their info about on-ramps. My email is at the bottom, matt.lopez at nisd.net. And my room, if you'd like to find me, is uh, B230. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them between now and late January when you sign up for courses. Take care. Hello, this is Mr. Gutierrez, and I look forward to maybe having some of you in dual credit as well as AP next year, um, and maybe even on ramps too. Um, AP US History does give you a chance to take college credit or get college, college credit rather with the AP exams. The big difference is that with dual credit, um, Mr. Lopez and myself, when our, we teach our dual credit classes, we are the adjunct faculty for Northwest Vista College. What that means is that with passing the AP exam, you can get college credit. But also in dual credit, you can get college credit through Northwest Vista College depending on the grade you get in the course. Um, and that is a dual benefit of being enrolled in dual credit. In terms of curriculum, in terms of what we do, we teach dual credit just like an AP class. Uh, there is really no difference in terms of what the dual credit students are learning versus what AP are learning, which also presents itself a unique opportunity that dual credit students can also uh, take the AP exam, which is a national exam and recognized by many universities as a very good opportunity for high school students to do. If you want to take dual credit, though, there is a requirement that you do take the TSI test. Miss Higgins works downstairs uh, between the career center and the counselor's office next to the Bronco. Uh, she has the advanced placement and dual credit website here. And on the website, not only is her information there, but information regarding uh, the TSI tests. Uh, if you want to contact her, her, her information's there to contact her. And I'll put a link uh, to the web page uh, in the description in the video below. Thank you very much. I hope you guys strongly consider uh, taking either on ramps, APS history, and dual credit next year. I look forward to seeing you guys next year. Have a great year, guys.